video is brought to you by Clusterfix. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate the removal of an in instrument cluster from a 2004 Buick LeSabre. Uh, some of the other years will be similar to this one. We've already removed this one. All the screws uh, and things are out and loose to speed up the video process. Uh, but to give you an idea of how to remove this one, um, if there's a few things you're going to want. You'll want a Phillips head screwdriver. You'll want uh, maybe a 7 millimeter nut driver or socket and extension, um, some trim panel pry tools, something similar to this. You can find these at auto parts stores. They'll sell a variety of different plastic trim tools. Um, plastic helps you so you don't mar up your dash when you're popping the, the uh, trim pieces off because they can be stubborn. Um, sometimes a T15 Torx would come in handy. Uh, it's not necessary on this one, um, but first of all, um, to get some clearance, you can lower your steering column down, and the other thing you can do is pop this knee bolster loose. It's just held in by clips. You don't have to take it all the way off, but you can just loosen it up using the trim panel tool. So it just pops out, that gives you clearance for things. Another thing to do is remove this side plate. This cover here is kind of stuck under some things. Just move that out of the way. And what that'll do is expose a screw, a seven millimeter screw that you'll take out right here. That holds this dash piece in place. You don't have to take the whole thing off, but if you take that screw out, it gives you a little more play so you can uh, remove the cluster from there. Um, there's two trim pieces you're going to want to take off. One of them is this one that has the light switch in it. And you just release the clip here and pull that out. Move that out of the way. And you've got the same thing on the other side but it's a lot longer. And there's going to be three Phillips head screws that your three Phillips head screws that you're going to need to remove once you open the glove box that also hold this trim plate on. So you, I've already removed those. Um, so once you remove those, you can start working your way around with the uh, trim panel tool. You'll have to push this cardboard carpeted piece, the glove box liner, down. Uh, or pull this trim panel up over through it so it'll get clearance. So this, like I said, I've already removed this so it's a little easier. Pieces can be stubborn uh, so you gotta work on them. Be careful not to crack anything and the next thing you can do, you're going to find a 7 millimeter screw on the end of this trim piece. And yours, there's going to be one hidden underneath this trim panel. This shroud here, you can remove this if you want. This is a rubber flexible shroud. I was able to get this tool in here, right about here, and uh, take that other 7 millimeter screw out. So that, other than those two screws, it's just clips holding this whole piece on. So, and Nick said they can be stubborn. You can kind of wiggle it back and forth, pop it out, and work your way around. You're going to hear the buzzer here, but move the gear shift selector down. And work your way around. That's where this comes in handy. Once this screw is out, you can move this up to help you get this thing out of the way. And there's this uh, switch assembly here. I'll show you. You just unlatch it right here and pull it straight out. Uh, so that exposes the cluster. These are the T15 Torx screws. You could take it out if it helps you. But basically, these are release tabs that help you pull the cluster straight out. Um, and you can usually do it like that. I like to, you can disconnect the battery. Um, might make things harder, but at least 
I like to have the key off when I'm trying when I'm removing the cluster because uh, there is no connectors to disconnect. They are firmly set in the back of the dash here, so when you pop the cluster out, it releases it. But I'll push these clips down like this and pop the cluster loose by hand. You might start with the bottom and just use your thumbs or your fingers and just release it and just work your way around it. screwdriver or something to help you with that if you need it or like I said take these out give you a little more clearance but once you kind of get it loosened up then you'll it's unplugged now actually so now I move the gear shift selector down and this piece is flexible so you can push on it to help you get it out of there be tight if you need to. Just have someone hold this up for you. And if you roll it like that, once it's pushed up, you'll be able to slide this right out. And then you have the cluster in your hand. You can see the connectors up there. And uh, like I said, you just to put it back in, you pretty much do the reverse. And uh, putting the trim panels back on, just work it around carefully, aligning the slots with the clips, and uh, you'll hear them snap back in place. And this cluster will snap back in place as well uh, once it's firmly installed. If you need a repair service for this, uh, you can visit us on our website at clusterfix.com. And if you click on the repair order form tab at the top of the page, you can select your make model and see the repair options we have available. You can also call us at 509-366-9009. Thank you.